and welcome to Accelerate and to our second episode all about picture lookups. But before we get into it, I've listened to some of you fans out there and I've decided to insert this little cursor here, the highlighted yellow background cursor, so you can navigate nicely through the videos. So I've highlighted my pointer so you won't be disappointed anymore. Also, I've added a Facebook page uh, down in the descriptions below, so you can um, send the links to any of your colleagues that you think that might get some value out of these videos. So without further ado, let's get into picture lookups within VBA. So guys, I'm just going to open up the spreadsheet that we're going to replicate today here. So we're going to add a button here that we can choose the territory from where we're logging in from. So I've decided to put in South Africa to show a South African guy, Australian to show a South Africa, uh, Australian bloke, and then also an Irish lad here. So that's what we're going to replicate today. I'm very excited to program with you today. So I'm going to exit the spreadsheet. And now for the first guys that's tuning in for the first time today, uh, please go check out my first video regarding uh, user form creation and amendments. And for the guys that's, that's already checked out that video, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to open my spreadsheet user form here. And if you guys remember correctly, we created a button that showed up the user form once we click it. So let's demonstrate that. So we're going to left click on this button and it shows our user form which we created in our first video. So now we're going to replicate a nice login screen here. So first of all, let's make this login screen look sleek as well. So I'm going to click on view and then I'm going to untick this formula bar. So you know where we usually put in our formulas. I'm going to untick this box that takes away that formula bar. I'm going to untick headings. So this is our ABC123 references. I'm going to untick that. That takes away the headings as well. And then you can click on the grid lines box here as well. That takes away the grid lines. This gives us a nice sleek look and feel for our login function. If you want to bring back those functions, you can just click on these three line items as well. So now let's insert a nice background. So I'm going to go with insert pictures from my device. And then I've got some preloaded pictures that I've downloaded from Google Images specifically for this video. So you are more than welcome to look for pictures that look more or less the same than what I've got here. And then I'm going to put in my background here. So it inserts the background quite nicely, but now you've noticed that it overlaps our button, which we created here on our upper left corner. And we don't want that, but this is an easy fix. You just left click on this image, right click again, and then you can just say send to back. So this sends this whole background back and if you take it into the corner there, you can see it doesn't overlap over the button anymore. So you can right click on the button here and then you can reshape this image or replace it. I'm just going to place it down below. And now I'm also going to want to change this image to show the passcode uh, button. So what I'm going to do is just going to left click on the image. I'm going to select change picture. That takes me back to my preloaded pictures here and I want this passcode icon to show. Double click on that and there we go. It shows the passcode icon. If we click on it, it's still going to show our original user form. So now we're going to amend the user form. We're going to go to our developer tab and we're going to select the Visual Basic button. This takes us back to our interface and now we're going to reshape that user form that we created. So I'm going to double click on user form and I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. You see this little handle here. You can click on it and you can drag it out. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. I'm going to left click on this image, the cross image that we created. And I'm also going to take the label and shift it out a little bit as well. So this label, we're going to make it read territory. So let's set the scene. We've got three sales managers, one from South Africa, one from Australia, and one from Ireland that can log into our spreadsheet. And we want to replicate it here. So I'm going to change this caption here, the hello caption here, to, from hello to territory. Hit enter. And now you can just reshape it so that territory shows nicely. And now we're going to insert a combo box 
within the user form. So you will see in our toolbox here, if you don't see the toolbox, you guys remember you're in the top hand ribbon, you can click on the little toolbox button and then on the left hand corner it shows the toolbox here. So the fourth option will be a combo box and you can drag it into our user form here. All right. So we can also change the font of the combo box. So let's change that font here in our properties tab. We're going to go to font. It defaults to Tahoma and you're going to click on this ellipse button. So let's say we're going to change it to Century Gothic. We're not going to bold it out and we're just going to choose a nice number 16 for the size and we say go OK. Now we're going to populate this uh, combo box. So let's say we double click on the user form here. So you just left click on the user form, you double click. And now it takes us to user um, so a private sub user form underscore click. But we don't want to do anything once we click the user form. We want it to do something once we initialize the user form. So you just go to here where it says click in the right hand upper corner click on the drop down list and we're going to go to initialize so this populates some code once the user form initializes what needs to happen so i'm just going to hit enter two times here and now we need to add some details and data into the combo box so we're going to say user form one dot combo box one one dot add item there we go you can just double click on add item and you're just going to hit the space and then you're going to show these two signs here just next to the enter button and it needs to show nothing so we need to be able to choose the nothing option as well so now we can highlight the code right click copy and we're going to enter it here right click paste so we have an, the exact same line item and remember the nice shortcut that I've taught you in the first video, you can also highlight the code, control C and then hit control V and that's the nice copy paste shortcut. And now we're going to add a little line item called South Africa. We're going to highlight this code, right click C, enter, right click uh, control V. So it's, that was highlight, control C, and then control V. And we're going to change the South Africa to read Australia. We're going to do the exact same thing. Control C, enter, control V, and then the last line item we need to add into our combo box is Ireland. There we go. So let's test if our combo box works now. I'm going to exit our Visual Basic. I'm going to click on the button and now we see our amended user form here shows territory and if you click on the little drop down list here there we go we can choose South Africa Australia and Ireland so if you choose South Africa there it goes Australia and Ireland but we don't have the pictures yet because we haven't programmed it in this uh, combo box here now so let's go to our next step and add in our picture lookup so I'm just going to hit exit here re-enter the visual basic re-enter our user form here so now we're going to insert our images which we need to show up according to our picture lookup so i'm going to go back to our toolbox and insert our image our very first image here so there we go now you just left click on the image and then here in the line item that says image none we're going to click on the ellipse button it takes us back to those uh, images that we've got here. So I'm just going to click on the South African guy first. Remember it zooms in, but it's a quick fix. We're going to go to picture size mode, drop down list, and we choose the third option that says zoom. So that zooms in quite nicely. And remember, we can also take away that black border. You just left click the image and border color, drop down list, and remember we choose window background and that gives us our nice South African fellow there and now 
Remember, this was the first image that we inserted in our first video. So that's by default image one. So this means the second image that we inserted in the user form, the South African guy, is image two. Please remember that, um, or you can maybe write it down on a piece of paper. So South Africa equals image two for uh, ease of reference as well. So we're going to left click on this image. We're going to hit control C and then control V. So that creates a duplicate of the image, but it changes to image three. And we're going to change this image to the Australian guy. So we're going to go back to image, ellipse button, and we're going to double click on our Australian fellow here. So it keeps the size nice, but now image three is Australia. So on that piece of paper, write down Australia equals image three. Got it. And now for our last image, we're going to create con hit control C and then control uh, V once more. So control C, control V. And this is our fourth image in this uh, user form. And we're going to change this to our Irish lad here. So go back to pictures, ellipse button, and we're going to choose our Irish fellow here. And remember, that's image four. So write on that piece of paper, Ireland equals image four. All right, awesome. Once you've done that, we're going to stack these images on top of each other. So I'm going to take the Australian guy. Oh, but first, remember we need to, we're going to speak about visibility. So if this user form pops up, we need, we don't want these images to show yet unless we choose it in the combo box. So first of all, let's change the visibility properties of the image. So I'm going to left click on the South African image and here down below you will see there's a line item that says visible and it's by default set to true. I'm going to click on the drop down list and it's going to show false. This means if the user form pops up, that image of the South African fellow won't be shown unless something happens. And we're going to do the same for the Australian guy. We're going to left click on the Australian. We're going to say visible, drop down, false. And we're going to do exact this, the exact same thing with the Irish lad here. We're going to go to visible and we're going to say false. Right. And now we can go to the next step where we're stacking these images on top of another. There we go. Perfect. Right. So let's start coding and working with the visibility of these images depending on what we decide in the combo box. So we're going to go back into our user form here. So now you're going to left click on the combo box. You're going to double left click. So what this code read is private sub combo box one underscore change. So if something changes into the in the combo box, what needs to happen? So we're going to work with a little bit of a if and then statement. It sounds a little bit daunting, straightforward, and we're going to go through it now step by step. So the first line code is if the user form one dot combo box one dot value. So if the value of the combo box equals use those two um, symbols next to that enter button, you're going to say if the value is South Africa, then what needs to happen? So then user form one dot image two. Remember that we said South Africa equals image two. So image two dot visible. So the properties we're going to change equals true. And you can hit enter. So what this statement says is, if the if the value of the combo box reads South Africa, we're going to change the property of the image to show true. Remember when it initializes, it's false. And if we choose the combo box to show South Africa, the visibility of the picture goes to true. And then it shows the picture. As easy as that. So now, what follows is, if it is South Africa, we still want the other two pictures to remain false. 
So I highlight this picture or this code, control C, hit enter, control V. So if it reads South Africa, I want the Australian and the Irish fellow to still show false. So remember, Australia equals image free. So we're going to say image free, the visibility needs to stay false. We're going to highlight this code. Control C, enter, control V, and we're going to change image 3 to image 4. Remember, Ireland equals image 4, and that still needs to show false. So, what happens if that combo box is South Africa, then only the South African image, which was image 2, needs to show true. So, now we can highlight these three line items control C, hit enter, control V. So now we're going to replace South Africa with Australia. You can type it out or you can just highlight it down here. Control C, highlight South Africa, hit Control V. And we do it with all the line items here. Control V and Control V. But remember, Australia equals image free. So we're going to change image 2 here to image 3. Now, if it's Australia, South Africa, which is image 2, needs to stay false. And the Irish fellow, which is image 4, stays false. So that's perfect. We can highlight these three line items. Control C. And then hit enter two times. Control V. And now we're going to replace Australia with Ireland. So I'm just going to hit Ireland there. Control C. Control V. I'm just going to replace these line items here. And then remember, Ireland is image 4. So image 4 vis visibility needs to be set to true. Image 2, which is the South African image, needs to stay false. And now image 3, which was the Australian image, needs to stay false. So that was a mouthful. My head is still aching now, but let's see if our code works. All right, let's see. So I'm going to click on my image here. So it doesn't show anything yet. And now if we're going to choose South Africa, lo and behold, there's our South African guy enjoying the beer on the braai. If we're going to choose the Australian, crikey mate, you better watch out. We've got a salesman here. And then if we choose the Irish lad here, top of the morning to you, there, there's our Irish guy. Our code works perfectly. So that's a picture lookup within that user form. So it's a little bit complex to code, but it's not too bad and it's still a nice intro to VBA coding. Now for our third video, we're going to show, we're going to enter our password as well. So we're going to choose the territory and now we're going to assign passwords to our sales managers and then that will complete our login function. So guys, my third video is going to be exciting. And come on guys, if you're going to get 100 likes on this video, I'm going to share this file that we just created with you guys. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, please share this content with everybody that you know that loves Excel. And my guys, I'm going to see you for our episode 3. Cheers guys.